We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And we are underway from Santa Clara. Fielded right around the eight. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A play fake now fields to throw. Got a man, it's Randy Moss complete. Touchdown, Vikings! Randy Moss, 69 yards. And the Vikings have taken a first quarter lead. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback charger on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with as you described a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to. Oh, trying to gauge the sun, and he muffs it. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. That's going to be caught by Moss. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. And we came into this one focused on Randy Moss, and now he has our full attention with his first grab of the game. Well, he's one of only two players to go a whole season averaging over 100 yards receiving and average a touchdown per game as well. That's, that's a pretty impressive stat. It really is, especially when you consider that every defense he faced was prepared for it and was kicking coverages in his direction. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That's out to the flat for Gibson. Touchdown, 49ers! Antonio Gibson from 10 yards out. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. Takes it at the 7. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. One play action. Fields. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And it's second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They try to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. 
They're going deep for Hill. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Tyreek Hill, 51 yards. And the Vikings have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Randy Moss, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Now Mahomes. He'll dump that off to Gibson, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Now it's Mahomes again. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. A.J. Brown, 28 yards. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you... And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, Vikings! Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Vikings get the quick strike touchdown. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You can see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Mahomes now on first down. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. He's got a man complete. 20. Touchdown. Randy Moss, 75 yards. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. What? Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Vikings. Tyreek Hill doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Vikings get the quick strike touchdown. 
So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Three yards the game there, second down. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it, second and seven. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain there of 30 big ones. He'll check that down to Gibson out of the backfield. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Ten more there and another first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, and he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Anthony Barr comes rumbling in for the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Mahomes going to throw. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. Touchdown 49ers! a 24-yard touchdown. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. We have witnessed touchdowns on back to back drives. We'll see if the offense can continue this uptick here. Now, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Jadevian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. It got his man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
But I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely. And when he can stay in the pocket, that is going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both these offenses have their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Dalvin Cook is running back the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Fields now to throw. They complete it to Hill. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Fields throwing again. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Now Fields. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And it looks like he's going to be stopped short of the first down by about a yard. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. They'll run for it. Cook. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Dalvin Cook as time expires in the first half. And the Vikings have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point from McManus is good. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis, operating gun, getting set for quarter number three here. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's going deep for Brown. He's got a man complete. Touchdown. A.J. Brown, his second touchdown of the afternoon. Point of tying this thing up. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And, you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. 
Play action. It's Fields. Eluding the pressure right. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Handoff comes to Cook. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 12 more yards there and another first down. Now Cook. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Now it's Fields. It's Hill complete. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Seven catches for him now in this last one. The first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Trying to improvise. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive gain. On second down. It's Cook. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Again, it's Cook. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll run with Cook, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Dalvin Cook with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. McManus' point after is good, and they will take a seven-point lead. Jackson now to return. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Niners take over first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Anthony Barr picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes got a man and he hits him in stride. A big gain there after going backwards and that'll lead to a third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Touchdown, 49ers! Antonio Gibson, 73 yards. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Extra point now by Boswell. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth.
So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Nick Bosa able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I think that time he just maybe held on to it a little too long, CD, because after a couple of seconds in this league, you know those defenders are coming. And how many times do we talk about complementary football? We usually talk about does the offense help the defense? Does the defense help the offense? I think in this case, does the quarterback help out his offensive line? You only have a certain amount of time to get rid of the football. They can only do so much. On this play, he took them to the limits. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. Sheds off the tackle, and he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 46 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. They run, Cook, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play call, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Third down, trying to get a little bit closer. From here, the field goal would be 55 yards. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Mahomes. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. Mahomes to throw it. This will be caught once again by Brown. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Here's Mahomes. And this is going to be caught. He got it. It's a touchdown, and forget all the time. GG, GG. Finishes like this, this is why we love sports. This is why we love the game of football. So glad that we got to be here to watch this one. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Oh, a good return up past the 30. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but 
They couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Pop